lawn rule book here. flag that has a season on it. You love yeah. your festive wreaths that I change like monthly. Wreaths. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. But so Greg. wreaths, classy. Uh -huh. Flags, trashy. No. Flag on your lawn, uh, trashy. Unless it's an American flag, I don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Woody. That's Greg Gore. Good morning. Menace, good morning to you. Good morning, Woody. Seabass is here. Yeah. We've got Sammy. Good morning. Uh, right there is Gina Grad, who's hey. sitting in with us today. Good morning. We have the phones open, 877-44-WOODY. You can hit us up with a text over to 22987. Gina uh, has her coffee in a toiletry bag. Well, here's what? the thing. A this toiletry bag? You know, like you would put your deodorant <laughs> and your toothpaste here. <laughs> Let me explain. Oh, yeah, look at that. This is like a cold pack, and you put the whole thing in the freezer, and it's not coffee, it's Diet Coke, and I want to keep it cold. Oh. So it's in my little freezer bag. Is that super weird? <laughs> well, that's, well, that's kind of well, neat. Uh, Question, why is yeah. the Diet Coke out of the can? Yeah, uh, why is I don't it like, in a coffee cup? Because I don't like the way it, I don't like the texture of it out of a can. Yeah, I get it. Because it tastes like garbage. You really? Can, should yeah. drink zero. No, you got to break it so up in like better. a cut, like a beer. You know how people will pour their beer into a glass instead of drinking out of the can? Same principle. Yeah. Just with the DC, <laughs> the nectar of the gods. But a paper cup. Any cup. It, know, sorry, were there like, steins in there that I missed? <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying like a paper cup, I, I, I think it would have even a more weird feel because of yeah, the carbonation exactly. over a paper cup. It, it's not great, but it's better than a can. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And okay. then you these straw things now. Mm, I don't yeah. like when they bring like a, a can of, of stuff like that out yeah. to the table at a restaurant and then they bring me a glass of ice. I'm like, it, it, already, it already has. No. It, it, uh, it's cold enough. Yeah. No. yeah. I do that on airplanes all the time. I don't need. Yeah, extra, I don't need that. Especially yeah. on that because I've got limited space. Extra well, stuff. And I don't think you're supposed to consume airplane ice. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've heard that. They yeah. don't stuff. make it on the plane. You're right. It's just a yeah. bag and just dump it in there. Like, the like those bags of ice. Yeah, that you get at the uh, gas station. But, and yeah. whatever. Is it is? Party ice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's fine. I mean, yeah, maybe I missed the airplane ice machine. Uh, no, it's like, it's, it's toilet part, ice. It's, yeah, it's probably right next to the morgue, you know? That's yeah. right. That's exactly office. right. Somebody yeah. tried to tell us there was a morgue on, like, you know, come on. On airplanes. Airplane. Yeah. All right. So we have something here for Greg, and then Greg has something for us. He's got his list of things that he considers trashy. Right. We, we needed a definitive list because it seems like there's it, so many things that Greg's, ugh, it's Well, that's the thing, and I add to it constantly. Right. It's a long list. <laughs> so that's coming up this hour here on The Woody Show. The etiquette quiz is something that Seabass has for Greg. Yes, this is something that I saw from, uh, I think Wired Magazine did this, an interview with an etiquette coach, and they, you know, crowdsource questions. And I thought to myself, wow, Greg would love this guy so much because <laughs> he is British. I say right. It's also fun with accents. It's fun with accents. He has like the most perfect suit, the the, the full wins or not, I'm assuming. Uh, and he talks, and he he's kind of like that mean gay as well, too. <laughs> oh, uh, his, name is William, mean gay. his name's William Hansen. Uh, he's got a new book out. He, he runs an etiquette school in, in jolly old England. So what I did is I broke down the questions and the answers so that Greg, yeah, well, I, well, he'll Ooh. be, you, you know, you might not be perfect, but no, you can I'm nervous. give your input and also learn, because he'll tell us, William Hansen will, the correct answer. And it's, it starts with table manners, but it goes into all sorts of stuff. Okay. Okay. And, well, this is a classic uh, table manners question here. All right, so here's the question. I always do my best to have good table etiquette, but I still <laughs> genuinely do not understand the no elbows on the table rule. Why is that important? Three exclamation marks. All right. Why is that important, <laughs> Greg? Why? No tables. Why would you not have your elbows on the table? Okay, I'm going to be honest. I don't know the answer, mm. but I'm going to venture a guess. Yes, good, good, good. Because before we had utensils, people would basically eat with their hands, so they would have their elbows up, and it, if you have your elbows on the table, it implies that you're going to be eating with your hands. Oh. I you know, like a oh. hunk of meat. Okay, it shows that you're uh, an old, tiny, okay. uncivilized. Yeah, like it's kind of uncivilized. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see what the actual answer is. The no elbows on the table rule goes back to the medieval times in yeah. Europe where okay. they were eating from trestle tables. They would put these benches out with sheets of wood on top. If you put your elbows on the table, the table would tip and the food would go everywhere, and obviously that's not very good etiquette. And so it became the etiquette to not to put your elbows on the table. We do really still abide by the no elbows on the table rule, because I think it, it looks really ugly. Yeah, it just looks yeah. really, it looks really, really ugly. ugly. And I, I'll add on to that, I, because it, it leads to bad posture. You're hunched mm. over, yeah. right? and you're okay. kind of, instead of being up and Upright. looking around, ready to address the uh, crowd. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind like, el like elbows at the table, as long as you're not then leaning over. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. if you're hunched over the table, like if your elbows are just on the table for whatever right. reason, not a big deal. It's like when you're. But if your boobs are in the soup. <laughs> correct. That's yeah. right. Or anytime menace we eat, it's like he's just shoveling. And no, his I like I lean my forearms onto the table. But that's not, fine. Yeah. Well, that's, that's not elbows. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna give myself half a point for my. Answer. I will agree yeah, with that. Yeah, I think it was yeah. old time. Maybe half yeah. point. All right, this is the etiquette quiz. 
Question number two. Help, this girl is telling me about horoscopes and I've literally no interest in it. I don't know how to get out of this conversation. <laughs> All right, so you're at a group, this is not at a table, yeah. but you're at a group gathering and you really don't want to talk don't to don't Sammy. Don't want about. How do you get rid of her in a proper and polite way? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because all um, I do is talk about astrology. That's it. <laughs> yeah, uh, crochet. You change the subject quickly. Yeah, I would say something along the lines of, I I see what you're saying. Yeah. In, a, in another uh, realm, and then kind of slowly yeah, morph no, the subject. Change, yeah, change the subject, I would say. Okay. Or like, like, acknowledge what they're saying, show yeah. them that you're listening, and then morph the subject into something else. Also, you can just say, hey, look over there and then run, run. away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, compliment and leave. Hey, bye. <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, let's see what the etiquette, I'm trying to think of like what the other answer could be. Oh, yeah, like the super proper I mean, you can say something really snarky and passive aggressive. That's well, but that's, Is that proper that's etiquette? Not proper <laughs> it's etiquette. not proper no. etiquette. Let's see what you should do. Try and pair them off with someone else. Say to them, oh, I've just seen someone over there. I must go and chat to you before they go. But have you met Anna? No, I'm going to ah. introduce this person with Anna, and off you go. It's much nicer than just going, I've got to go, bye, and then walking off. <laughs> yeah. But okay. Now it's kind Anna's of pointing. Screwed. <laughs> right. So you, you yeah. don't abandon them, but you 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 pass them off. You right. Right. Redirection, yeah. Okay. Here, you right. deal with this idiot. Have you met <laughs> Anna? <laughs> Anna. Poor Anna. Yeah, that's not proper to Anna. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. we mean. Here, this is now your problem, Anna. Well, maybe yeah. Anna's a dummy too. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Greg's the fanciest person that we've got here. Try to be. And uh, this is the etiquette quiz. Question number three. It feels like unless I hunt down the waiter that we want the check or bill, we could be there for hours. Is this a thing? Oh, this is a menace oh, question. This is me. This is I'm definitely hunting for you. Down the way the waiter like constantly. Same. So what they're saying yeah. is you don't you're not sitting there, you see the guys waving and clapping and snapping. Yeah. And right. Stuff. Holding the bill Garcon. up in the air. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or or leaving the table like menace would do. Uh, uh, I'm trying to get out oh, I've I've walked up to the booth before yeah. with my bill. I'm like, <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, try and leave. My guess. But do you do that right away or do you, do you give them a minute? I give them a little while. Okay. They have like two minutes. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah. no, but like, do you, do you honestly give him like a chance? Yeah. He's yeah. got other tables, other things that are going yeah, on. Yeah. 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 Uh, but also, sometimes to sometimes, menace his credit, sometimes they're just lazy or it's dicking around. Dude, it's like, oh, I, no, I agree. I've seen them pass by my table easily three or four times. I've worked yeah. in restaurants. I'm like, okay. Yeah. It's time yeah. to go. Yeah. All right. So, Greg, what, what happens here? My guess would be this is such a difficult quiz that you would just find, if it's not your server, just find the nearest employee of the restaurant. Bus boy or whatever. And, yeah, and I just do that say, too. could you please uh, find my server? Do, I, beg, I beg your pardon. Kind sir. I beg your pardon. A thousand right. pardons. Well, that, <laughs> right. That's very nice because I just ask whoever it is, I need my bill. I don't even say. That's what you uh, say? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yo, I need my bill, with, dog. I'll get your <laughs> I don't actually say that. What do you calm down? Blood. But no, but yeah, I just ask that person, can I get yeah. my bill? Okay. Yeah. Right, let's find out. All right. Question number three. What do you do in that situation? The way to get a waiter's attention is purely body language. We don't want any clicking, any clapping, or any flapping about. Instead, sort of sit back from the table, make yourself a little bit taller, and try mm. and catch their eye. As they go past, keep the hand at the level of the eye, and then when they come over, please may have the bill. Yeah. Mm. That's all you need to say. Yeah, I also don't leave the folio, as they call it, uh, yeah. flat on the table. I put the card mm. in that little plastic yeah. uh, sure it's visible. notch at yeah. the top so it's sticking up out of the top of it, and then I stand the whole folio yes. up on the table. So uh -huh. it, okay. it's kind of like folio. a... Uh, yeah. You know, like when you need service at the uh, slot machine at the yeah. casino, you could turn the little light on, <laughs> right? Yeah, and yeah. they can kind of well, see I'll it. Tell so you what I do. Little beacon menace right. is uh -huh. it, there's never that step because as yeah. soon as the bill comes, the yeah, the, card the card is ready. Why, why I do am I need to look over anything? Yeah, I don't need to, to I take I another care. ten minutes. Need auto, uh, yeah, itemize everything. You know what I ordered? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I do that same thing, and then when it comes back, if there's uh, just to double yeah, check to make sure, right. then you look over it. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, there's another thing that I absolutely get annoyed by if I'm in a group setting is if we're ordering and then everybody's made the decision on what they're going to order, and then they keep the menus open like they're still looking at stuff. Yes. Why? Close yeah, it the up. signals Close that uh, it. you're not yeah. right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Close Menace it. is just in such a rush. <laughs> I, I am. I mean, I'm just there to eat. It's not my entertainment, like Greg. Menace, have you ever done this? Sometimes when they bring the food, the first time they come to say how is everything, I'll go great, and here's my card. You can just yeah. go ahead and run it just so we can yeah, be out of here. Yeah, I like when I'm done. I oh, like and I, I I shared another tip with what are you like. Um, when they go, have you been here before? No matter what, yes, yeah. yes. I've been here before. Yeah. The answer is always yes. Because I, I don't want to go through the specials. Yeah. <laughs> it's Whatever not a you're trying to get rid of. Yeah. It's not a quiz or a riddle. It's yeah. a restaurant. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, etiquette quiz. 
Situation number four. I'm absolutely shocked that so many people think it's to recline your airplane seat. That's why it's there, so you can recline. I've never not reclined my seat. My seat stays reclined. Oh. Always. Oh, well, I think the cabin crew have got something to say at takeoff and landing about that, because you're not meant to have it reclined then. Ah, oh, yes, they're from Austin, Texas, which explains so much. Oh, wow! wow. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of the what the hell yeah. is that yeah. all about? Yeah. Yeah. A little sassy over here. That's Jeez. not proper etiquette. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow. But again, mean gay is so fun. It is yeah. pretty fun. Wow. Jeez. Oh all right, God. so this is, this is always, like, this is an like ongoing debate online. Yep. Is Even in this room. Uh, do you can't re why do they make them to recline if you can't recline? Yeah. And yeah. so on and so forth. Well, I think there's an etiquette to it. Well, I believe yeah, there must be. You are correct. Clearly. What, what is that, though? I'm thinking William would say that you should turn around to your fellow passenger and say, excuse me, I would like to recline. Mind the gap. W would, would this be obtrusive to you if I do? <laughs> Mind the lack of gap. <laughs> right. Like, yeah. give them a fair warning right. kind of deal. All right. Let's find out. What are you supposed to do in that situation? I would suggest that if you are going to recline your seat, and you are right at KHB, if you want to recline your seat, you can, but don't do it during the meal service. Oh. Do make sure oh. you just sort of slightly check behind you. It's a signal that you are going to do it, and you do it slowly. Don't do it violently. All right, can I ask a question from Mr. First Class here? Yes, I'm right here. Uh, <laughs> what meal service? <laughs> Yeah, you know, good point. Are you talking about like when they bring the drinks around and the peanuts? <laughs> because yeah. most people are just hanging out yeah, in coach. Mm -hmm. It's not meal service. Right. Well, yeah. when the you, well, I guess when the, the drinks, drinks are on are the there, tray. Yeah. I mean, you get so. little snacks and crap. Yeah, yeah. yeah or, you can buy stuff. They have little sandwiches and yeah. stuff. Yeah, especially Spirit Airlines where they have ramen noodles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Is, now is that trashy? Getting ramen noodles on an airplane? Guy. <laughs> no, I I said before. I think ramen noodles on a plane is the perfect ideal plane snack. Thank you. They're, before you put the water in them, they're super light. They're but once you put the versatile. water in them, it's super hot. The, super hot. No super the crap out of yourself. Super and stinky. Smelly. Yes. No, Except for they need yeah. to change perfect, the flavors on spirit is what I've been saying. <laughs> snack. No See, one wants Cajun. Just get regular. I would have guessed that Greg would have said that was trashy. Not but at all. Not. No, I think it's the perfect plain snack. Uh, Greg does have his list of things that are trashy. Yeah. Uh, I, we'll have to check back in with this uh, this etiquette guy. Again. Oh, he's got tons again. Oh, I know. Yeah. Wired. Mike. What's his name? Uh, William Hanson. He's got a new book William coming Hansen. out, Ooh. Greg, which you may want to obtain a copy. I of. think I might. And he does, he's doing like a little mini tour. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Speaking engagement. So Greg will finally, once and for all, give us the definitive list as it stands right now of things that he finds to be trashy. Right. It's a living, breathing list. This way, if you ever want to be impressive to Greg Gorey and have yeah. a shot of him looking you and saying, hey, you know, maybe we could be friends. Because yeah. I'm a wannabe snob. The Woody Show. All right. Well, this is uh, the list I've really been waiting for. I mean, there's so many things that I love that I know for a fact are on this list. So apparently, Greg thinks I'm trashy. Thinks you're trashy, well, Sammy. Yes. Well, yeah. it's certain parts. He's judging <laughs> all of not, not that we're all not judging. Well, yeah. We, we, you know, look, people that say, oh, I don't judge. Yes, yeah. Everybody oh, judges. Yeah. Everybody yes, judges. yes, you do. Yeah. Greg, what do you think the trashiest thing Woody does? The tra um, well, it's come up a lot lately. And having been there and seen the size of his garage and not parking it. <laughs> I know. He doesn't, uh... Let's just keep every car in the driveway. <laughs> Why you have a, ga a garage? When your kid wants to play hockey in there, then he can... You can yeah. back up the car. He can set up, play. When he's done, put the car back. Also, yeah. I'm not uh, using the garage. Personally, I'm not using the garage because when I leave as early in the morning as I do, it would wake people up. Yeah, it's loud. Like the garage door would wake people it's up. Like yeah, them problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so take yeah. it out on your neighbors yeah. and have yeah, a yeah. car yeah. lot. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> Greg has, <laughs> this is all Greg's opinion. Yeah. We're all going to have some disagreements in here, I'm sure. <laughs> we will. <laughs> one thing or another. But this is uh, Greg's opinion on things that he finds to be trashy and because wanna, Greg is master. Well, I, I, I try to be. I want to start with just a couple classics just to get mm. it out of the way. Like yeah. I've mentioned 400,000 times, couches that plug in or and or light up. Up. That right. is so utilitarian. It's so ugly. Is it comfy? Sure. Yeah. Is it convenient to have a built-in cup holder? Absolutely. Sure. Uh -huh. But not at home. That's True. just Wait. ugh. True. What about a man cave though? Is it allowed in your oh, basement? I think ma the term man cave is trashy. True. <laughs> the idea <laughs> of a man cave is trashy. If you're the true mm -hmm. man of your own home, 
watch the game in your living room. Yeah. Yeah. Man caves are for losers. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, true. it's insanely childish. Uh, by the way, I just want to clarify something. The text just came in. Uh, no, Greg, the trashiest thing Woody does is pick his nose and put it on the car steering wheel. I don't put it on the steering wheel. <laughs> no, it's on the seat. It's yeah, on the it's front the of the seat, yeah. the front Every, edge of the seat. And not just the that. car, also his office chair. <laughs> It's not on the office chair. Oh, there's a whole big... Anyway. No, there's not. I tell you, if I pick a nose, I got to wipe it on. It's the underside of the counter mm. at the desk. Mm. And then I wait for the dry. And, and then, then before I leave each day, I chisel. Thank you, Greg. And you know chisel. me. I'll be back with some photos, but please continue, <laughs> yeah. Greg. Okay. Uh, the other old classic, signs that tell you what you, room you're in in the house. In the kitchen, it might say eat or <laughs> fork. Right. In the okay. laundry room, soap. Sure. Well, that's Queen. just cute. Covered. Uh Recently, I mentioned tin serving dishes, so if you go oh, yeah. get something catered and you have a giant platter of, let's say, pasta, and no. boom, on the table, like you serve aluminum. it from that. Mm -hmm. Put it in a different, put it in a big bowl and zhuzh it up. Yeah. Uh, garage parties, that's always towards the top of my list. <laughs> I've had so many parties at my former in-law's house sitting next to a lawnmower while eating my meal. Yeah, that's indefensible. Like, oh, here's a gas can, a lawnmower, a rake, and yeah. a motorcycle, salad. and your hamburger. But you love the garage so much, Greg. Uh, not for that. Not for that. It's not yeah, for, for dining. Cars. No, it's for cars. Um, adjacent to the garage, the driveway, when you see a hose on a driveway and it's just willy-nilly, mm. wrap it up, preferably on an actual hose holder. Like a hook? It's not to be seen. I've even <laughs> seen photos for houses that are on the market for sale, and there's the picture of the front of the house, and what's running down the driveway? A garden hose. Oh, you yeah. can't coil that up? Disgusting. And around the side or the back of the house, preferably. Yeah, it should, preferably, exactly. Pictures that get hung way too high. Yes. Oh. There is an actual rule to it, and I don't remember the exact number, but when you go from the bottom of the floor to the middle of the art piece should be X amount of inches. Dude. I don't remember the number of inches. The rule of thumb, uh -huh. according to Martha Stewart, was like, <laughs> unless you're like somebody who's super short like Sammy or super tall like Shaq, yeah. mm -hmm. like if you're an average size guy, five foot ten, right? It's supposed to be right at the middle of the piece. It's supposed to be right yeah. at eye level. Eye level. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. And I people like hang it. them. And then if you have multiple pictures, let's say you have three kids and you have three pictures of your kids, don't stagger them. Put them all in the same horizontal row. Yeah, more pleasing. Well, staggering, staggering looks is so like, grandma. It's very so popular trashy. right now. It's so trashy. Uh, uh, oh, do you know what that happens with as well is televisions. One time I was not home when a television was being put on my wall. Mm -hmm. And I'm like... We put it on the ceiling? Like, right. <laughs> You're going to hurt your neck. Why so high? Why so high? And along those lines, things that just aren't to scale. So like the frame photos that are too small, if you do it in a collection, like a gallery mm -hmm. wall, fine. But if you have one photo that's small and it's hung on a wall and it's not to scale, it's going to look ridiculous. All right. What about, uh, is this trashy? Because he's got his Seabass, has his uh, Mensa certificate framed. But it's it's not the correct size. It's cut off. It's all the the border's cutting off. Like you can't even see oh, my, the. My last name's insanely long. That's why. I know, but yeah. even look at the Mensa right. logo in the top men. right corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Says, it says and, men. And that's the only like uh, F. frame. Yeah, that's not. Is that classy or no? Uh, no, that, day class A. It's like he's a membership of men. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is also true. It's a thousand percent intersection. <laughs> um, also, <laughs> things that aren't to scale, like if a coffee table's too small for a space, you have a couch. Smash against the wall, a huge rug, and a small coffee table in the middle of the rug, nowhere near the coffee table. It's pointless. Yeah, no good. And it looks stupid. It looks like, oh, look, I got my very first apartment on my own. Yeah, I don't know why people put the table in the middle of the room like that when, yeah, it's, it's, it's a coffee be... table, yes. You should have about five to six inches off the knee if you're sitting up straight on the edge of the couch. Right. right. I think it's 18 inches. Is, it, ooh, is that what it is? I believe that, that so. far? From nice. the couch. Oh, wow. From okay. the couch. All right, good to know. I'm going to make an adjustment in my... <laughs> Any little lawn Rule book flag here. that has a season on it. So when it's summer, you put your summer little lawn flag. Yes. Or if it's Aww. spring, you put one that says Easter on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, no, it's trashy, but it's cute it's, when like an old person does it. I, I, mm -hmm. It can be construed as cute, but, mm -hmm. it's, but you, it's trashy. You love yeah. your festive wreaths that I change like monthly. I like wreaths. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. But so Greg, wreaths, classy. Uh -huh. Flags, trashy. No. Flag on your lawn, <laughs> trashy. Unless it's an American flag, I don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, le the lettering is what really, ugh, it makes that... it old country buffet. Yeah. Mm. Sammy, were you in a sorority? I can't remember. It was not. Morgan was. Uh, Morgan was. I was know that dream. for a fact. But it's that got that sorority font to it where every letter has like a little, like Greek? Like a little circle, Dot. Little bubble, circle bubble at the end of How every letter. How is she not in the sorority? Uh, 
because you got to go to college for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It would have been my dream. It's like the biggest thing that I ever missed out on was going to community college and oh, not yeah. this is a... being able to be in a sorority. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. Uh, the ultimate trashy, and I had, was a victim of this for four years when I lived next door to a guy who kept an RV in front of the house 24-7, mm. 365. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. This is where, Woody, I appreciate your HOA because I went on an RV overnight trip Understood. with a co-worker and I thought, where does he keep his RV? And when I got to his house, which is in your neighborhood, he said, oh yeah, we're not allowed to keep them here. We have to keep them off premises. Yeah. And I thought, Good. hallelujah to that. Every neighbor should, should have that same policy. Yeah, agreed. I was driving around the other this week, Greg, and I saw someone who parked their RV horizontally, like crossways across their their driveway. Oh. You couldn't uh, even see their house. Oh, wow. Awful. Brutal. <laughs> Uh, wedding guests who don't dress appropriately, you are mm -hmm. trash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jay. We well, all... we were at our friend uh, Tony's wedding, and one of his relatives showed up in some jeans and a Who Let the Hogs Out t shirt. A yeah. what? t shirt. Yeah. Pretty awesome. You're at a <laughs> wedding. It's like a Harley Davidson, yeah. you know. Right. Who Let the Hogs Out. That <laughs> is. Grounds for dismissal. They right. must leave the wedding. Exactly. And, and, and uh, Tony said, "Well, he just came from work." I'm like, "Okay, you couldn't have put an extra shirt in the car." Where does he work? I think he's a firefighter. Yeah. Oh my! I, I don't know, but like, I mean, what, they like, should have dress clothes. I mean, if you're over the age yeah. of twelve, you should know you're going yeah. to a wedding. Yeah. <laughs> also, I find this trashy, and this is highly judgmental. Weddings with a no host bar. Oh, that's that, then no. don't have a wedding. Then it's just a dry wedding. Yeah. Don't have a wedding, yeah. or just one bartender. Because I've gone That's to brutal. a couple weddings where it was a no host bar, and it, the first one I ever went to, I was literally surprised by it. I said, Yeah, I'll have a Heineken. Okay, that'll be five bucks. <gasps> I looked over my shoulder and I said, Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm with the wedding. I'm with the wedding. <laughs> yeah. And he said, Yeah, yeah. that'll be $5. Uh -huh. And I yep. went to my aunt who I was at this wedding with. I said, Did you know you have to pay for drinks here? <laughs> <laughs> this is a wedding. <laughs> I, yeah, you, I've never if you seen can't, that. If you can't host it, don't do it. What about if I, yeah. uh, like a trough, you know, just I have a big thing of ice. Like a self-serve? Yeah, self-serve. Yeah, yeah. that, that'd be, that'd that'd be fine. What about if it's access. beer and wine only? A lot of That's weddings totally do fine. that. That's okay. totally fine. Totally uh, fine. Menace wall-mounted TVs when the wires are visible. Yes! Oh, my God. Come when, on. Get, when you get so, it installed, take the time to put the wiring through the wall. Yeah, you can get an electrician to do that super cheap to it, add a um, you know an outlet in the back of it. And like, why would you like just let the uh, the wire just hang down to the outlet on the bottom? Yeah. It's the worst. How do you live with that? I don't know. Uh, let's say uh, using the wrong glasses for red wine, white uh, wine, champagne. Uh, when I, people serve champagne, I never thought about this until Greg brought it up. I'd never given a second thought. When you have champagne in a wine glass, like you might as well put it in a coffee mug. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, or not knowing the difference between a white wine glass and a red wine glass. Yeah. Like, well, but couldn't you, you use a coffee old? mug for red wine? That would be better than having just a regular glass Ooh. where you, the, the heat from your hands on the outside, because mm. at least you have the handle from the mm. mug and you're not transferring your uh, See, heat from your hand. You will totally disagree with this. I 100% believe that the chemical makeup, the physical makeup of the vessel affects the taste. I really do. I mean, I agree with Diet Coke. So it's the same thing. Yeah, but you won't I, drink that I out of a can. You, yeah. It's only out of a yeah. paper cup. That's right. And that is what the experts say. That's why they're specific cups. Yeah, so right. they can open up. Right. Or yeah, I mean, that yeah. could be hocus pocus. I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, <so>. but. <laughs> and then, of course, bumper stickers. I don't need to know what your favorite band is. Yeah. Or, or you don't have to. It's an honor roll student. Yeah, <laughs> and then if you, especially multiple bumper stickers, that just says, hey, I'm a, I'm a total slob. Yeah. yeah, that's I, what it says. High to me. school, like, are you not an adult? Right. Why do you need a bumper sticker? Can I just bullet point real quick through the rest <laughs> of my list? Not putting your napkin in your lap, trashy. Holding your fork with a fist, you're a piece of trash. Agreed. Leaving Christmas lights up all year, trashy. Agreed. Yes. <laughs> Women's shirts with the shoulders cut out. The cold shoulder. They think yeah. that's fancy. It's called uh, the cold shoulder. Like, that's, oh, it's our fancy night out. Let me get my 80s. shoulderless yeah. T-shirt. <laughs> it's just a circle around the shoulder. Right. And then lastly, prominent garbage cans especially in a kitchen put your garbage in a cabinet hide them <laughs> hide it it should be out of sight you shouldn't see a garbage can what about no. a hutch what if it's like one that's of those fine. stainless steel ones yeah that's no, what i have no. in the corner i'm with that's greg that's round that's, uh, stainless uh, steel no. I'm trashy I'm hide them here. cans yeah hide them i don't want to see your garbage can all right well there you go ladies and gentlemen and that like is, I said, it's a living, breathing list. There'll probably be more next year. Oh, yeah, of week. course. Addendums. It's like my list of people you can't trust. It should not be trusted. <laughs> uh, Greg's list of things that are trashy, ladies and gentlemen.